I always tell the people that are going for a ride with us that you're only going for 30 minutes, but think of that 18 or 19 year old farm boy who didn't know what a B-29 was, didn't know where Tinian and Saipan were. All of a sudden now he's flying a 16 hour mission to, to bomb Japan and to think of those men who did that. What the B-29 is best known for is, you know, it's the airplane that dropped the atomic bomb during World War II. The uh, boxcar and the Enola Gay dropped the two atomic bombs. Their airplanes are basically identical to Fifi. There were 4,000 of them built, roughly 4,000, just a little less than that. And for the last, since 1971, this has been the only one that's flying uh, up until this last year when the second one started flying. It was the main airplane to do the bombing in Japan, and uh, aside from the atomic bombs, it's also, it was known for the fire raids. Destroy a lot of stuff, burn a lot of things down, destroy the enemy's will to fight, and that's what the B-29 did. There was a time people did this for real, and it was a life and death thing. Typically, how high do you fly? Stop this. Um, yeah, we've been above 10,000 10, feet a couple times, but um, we're not pressurized anymore. And, uh... Fifi was built in July of 1945 up in Renton, Washington. The airplane was used as a, as a trainer at different locations until about 1954, and then it wound up at China Lake Naval Weapons Test Center out in California. What they would do is they would pressurize these airplanes on the ground and shoot them with different kinds of projectiles and see what kind of the resulting damage was. And Fifi was one of about 33 to 35 airplanes sitting out there that were hadn't been tested yet. This particular one, she was kind of sitting in the middle of a, of a bunch of them. It had been sitting out in the desert for all those years without any kind of uh, preservation at all. The, window, the, the windows and hatches were all open, the controls weren't locked, and there was no preservation oil in the engines. But it took nine, nine weeks of work, and uh, they flew the airplane to Harlingen, Texas in six and a half hours, and pretty much uh, trouble-free flight. People who flew this literally did nothing less than save the world. Very important that we keep the B-29 and all the other warbirds flying for the public to see so that people do not forget the sacrifices made by the veterans of World War II. The ones who flew them in combat, the ones who flew them in training, ladies who built them back home, the people who did so much to, to protect this country for such a long time at such a desperate time in our, in our history. We can't let that go away. <laughs>